Okay, this is a video on how to replace the rafter tail when it falls off. So this rafter tail has had fallen off. The bracket fell off with it. So I took the bracket out by removing these four screws. And then I put the bracket up here. I had already put it up. Um, those are the old holes. So what I did is I, I put it in right over where the old holes were and I put the old screws in new locations. Let me zip, get that clear for you. There's some new new holes right there. That'll make it nice and tight. I, in this case, have some uh, new screws. I don't know where I put them, but anyways, that'll do the trick right there. And then all you'd have to do is take this and this old screws and you would just slide it on and put these old screws right back in in the hole. So I'll make another little short video on reinforcing it, but then that's pretty much how you do it. I'll make one more short video and finish so, it up. This is the rest of the video. I have some extra screws right here. They're not the same color, but it's okay because it's covering them up. I'm just gonna add a couple extra ones. There's one here. One there. And I'm gonna do actually three. And one more at the top just in case anything ever happens again. Okay. Now I'm putting the screws on that match it, the old ones. So I'll take this, slide it in. There you go, the old holes will line up. Like that. Let me get the other ones. So this video is not great, but it's uh, just to help you guys figure out how to fix this. Um, there you go. Two more on this side. And these are number eight self tappers. So you could always pick them up at Home Depot if you need to get some more. There you go, that's it. Well, now you got all the rafter tails. So that's how you do it. It's not that crazy, but you know what? If you don't know, you don't know. Now you know.